Hello everyone! Today's video has been long in the making and may not be even over yet. It is intended for those happy and not really owners of Harbor Freight air compressors. I've been leaving my compressor plugged in all the time and it would just kick in once in a while to maintain the air pressure in its tank. After about 6 or 7 years of ownership, occasionally I would find the thermal protection switch tripped and in need of reset. As more years passed, this problem became most obnoxious and needed my immediate attention. My original approach to solving this puzzle was to replace these capacitors, which I successfully ordered and was ready to install. However, when I took measurements of the running current, something else struck my inquisitive mind. What made me second-guess myself was absence of high running current or lack of torque, which would be an indication of bad capacitors, but simple refusal of the compressor to run for more than a minute without tripping the thermal protection. I checked the motor windings as well as RPM switch and everything looks like and feels just fine. Here you can see how the centrifugal mechanism lifts the plate of the switch, allowing the contact to change between normally closed and normally open sides. I also drew the schematics of it, attempting to explain the principle behind RPM switch and starting and running capacitors, but that footage was lost in my battle with Apple's image capture app after their next update that it essentially made it useless. However, that is a topic for a whole another conversation. Out with the old one and in with the brand new switch all the way from China. The new overload protection came in fancy with splash protection and I was excited and hopeful that this would work. Sometimes though procrastination could be a good thing. Good thing I didn't post the video at that point. As in this case, everything wasn't as simple. Soon after the so-called repair, the new protection started tripping even worse than the original. This was the beginning of Plan B operation called Install Real Thermal Protection. Or was it Plan C if you count capacitors replacement that never commenced? The protection based on temperature of the motor and not an elusive current based whatever. I chose a thermal switch for 20 amp tripping at 80 degrees Celsius. This should be plenty enough to prevent a fire of something. Unsoldering terminals from the old switch was, to put it mildly, unsuccessful. At first I wanted to install the switch on top of the motor, but rather short available wires had something else to say. For better heat conductivity thermal paste is used. I chose to use a regular steel wire over drilling and tapping into the motor to mount the switch. Click like if you think it was a good idea. Few light twists in the wire loop seem sufficient to hold the switch tight against the motor. Crimping wire tab terminals is a breeze with the right tool. Beep. 
After identifying the line and the load wires, it's time to put everything back together. Test run looks very promising. Hopefully this thermal protection will never have to trip, because if it does, that would mean something gone seriously wrong. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click all the right buttons. Please support this channel and I will see you soon. Or you will see not me but my video maybe or something. And if you really, really, really dislike the video, please hit that dislike button three times. Thank you.